So, so we, we intentionally scheduled um, in a way that, uh, that we were going to be challenged, in a way that it was going to prepare us for, for, for Mountain West, for, for, for postseason, uh, but also that, uh, you know, a schedule that would maybe help us be in a conversation for an at-large uh, bid if, if that needed to be. I think starting our season off with such a big win was a really great start for us because it showed our hard work in the preseason and I think it was like, okay, let's keep going, let's keep going, let's build on top of this. The previous year we struggled with scoring a little bit um, and so for us to come out with a 5-1 win on our first game, like, oh, we've made it, <laughs> we did it. We, we figured out our scoring and there was a fl we gave up one goal on defending, but we're like, okay, quick fix, easy, done, next game because we were just super excited. I'm like, okay, this is our year. Playing against Weber State was nice to put away that many goals and just like start off the season on the right foot. What I didn't anticipate that there was gonna be as much adversity as we dealt with. This, this was hands down the hardest season we've had since I've been here. For me as a coach, I, you know, I have the responsibility to step back and not get caught in the emotion of the result and actually be objective about how we're playing, what's going well, what we actually need to, to fix or adjust. Uh, you know, but as a young player, you know, that's hard to do. You know, you're, you're, you're more likely to get caught up in the emotions of, of the outcomes. Um, so it was tough. It was really tough. We had to, to do two things. One, find ways to get better. So we had to challenge them and push them. But two, find ways to keep them believing that they were good enough and they belong. I think it's not always easy to keep a team culture um, the best when it's losing. Everybody wants to win, everybody wants to play. Um, so it just creates feelings of frustration, understandably so, because we're athletes, everybody wants to win, everybody um, wants to have a winning streak. And everybody knows our back line is fantastic. I mean, <laughs> they really are like the backbone of this team, but so for them to do their job extremely well, and for us as a midfield and forward line, I think we were extremely disappointed that we're not finishing and executing our role like we need to. But I think we just went into practice every day. We worked on a lot of finishing and eventually it came, but through that stretch, I think it was all just, we just need to keep playing how we're playing and I think the goals will come, so. The message had to be consistent with, uh, with what the message had been going through, through the losing streak because we, we lost three, uh, then, uh, then we won one, tied one, lost, and then BYU. So, so we, we, we were coming from a spot where results were not coming our way, but we were able to see a lot of the positives. Uh, we're really big on preparation, the detailed preparation, and making sure the players have the information they need, but more importantly, making sure that they're clear on us being us. Um, so, so we didn't look at them as, even though we knew they were number one, we never talked about that. We never talked about them being, uh, quote unquote, BYU is just another opponent. So we always look at the opponents as nameless, faceless opponents. Going into the BYU game, we were hyped. We were out for blood. We knew this was gonna be a big game and we wanted to basically tell BYU and tell the rest of the NCAA soccer teams that, you know, we can compete with the number one team in the nation at the time. You know, from, from the start, it was a toe-to-toe a, a -to -toe game. Uh, and that was one of the things that, uh, that for us was great that every time we've played, uh, we've played them, we felt like we, we have grown and done better. Um, and so, uh, obviously they're a good team. They had some looks, but never, uh, a look where, where it was like massive opportunity um, and we had our chances to so literally back and forth and uh, zero zero to half and so we go we go in at half time and uh, we noticed they made a change and uh, one thing that we're really big on we don't make massive change we make some tactical changes but we never go away from who we are after half time we were just hyped we're hyping each other up we're like let's just go out there let's show them what we got and we started that second half and um, I think the goal that we scored was a great team goal. I know like I'm the one who finished it, but you can go back and look with the minute before. I mean, Kylie Olsen was running down the line, making a great save, crosses the ball in, their center back puts it out, thinks it's a corner. Their team kind of just thinks it's out. Um, one of their other defenders tried to keep it back in, KK picks it off and 
lays it off to me, and then we score. Oh my gosh, she did it. Okay, we're good, okay. We just gotta defend, just gotta keep the goal, ball out of the net, um, and everyone knew it. It wasn't just our defensive line, our whole team was just ready to defend, keep the ball in that as much as we could. Um, keep the ball when we had to was our goal, but um, in the end we were trying to, yeah, just keep the ball in that, get the ball up the field away from our goal. Um, and then those last five minutes were just stressful. They got a red card, which helped us out, um, be able to defend a little easier, but, um, and then De'Aaron made that last minute save, and we're like, oh my gosh, D, you're the best. Thank you so much. And we just knew, and then everybody saw our feeling. It was the coolest feeling ever. Once the whistle blew, <laughs> I was very, very happy to, to end up with that result. And it was incredible just to see the support. I mean, over 2,000 people on the sidelines rushing the field. I had never been a part of that. Um, but, uh, but again, it just, it's, it's one of those, thi those things that makes Utah State special. You know, the, the support from our community and the herd and, uh, and just our players felt special. And it was another pivotal point uh, in our program because it, uh, it gave our players a little bit more belief in our quality, our ability to win big games, uh, our ability to overcome res adversity, um, and, and it really prepared us to go into conference. Uh, the biggest thing for me at that point was, okay, this was massive from an emotional standpoint. How do we get the team back, you know, their feet on the ground in preparation for conference play, which, again, <laughs> adversity hits again. And to go to Air Force and them winning off of a PK and us just not being able to finish again, I think we were just like, what the heck? Like, we, I think we finally just got over it and now we're back. And I remember the day after, we were back in our hotel, ready to go to practice before we played Colorado College. And we all sat down in the conference room and we just had a conversation of like, how can we not let the like highs get too high, the lows get too low, like, okay. Even, like we just beat BYU, now we have to go into conference winning, especially after that loss. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm a strong believer that, uh, that in our sport, y you, you have to control what you can control, your preparation, your, your, your principles, you know, the things you can do, how hard you work. Uh, but in the end, you do need a little bit of good fortune uh, to get the ball in the back of the net. And, uh, and that just wasn't on our side that day. We had chances, just didn't make it, uh, didn't make it happen. And then we conceded a penalty kick. They scored. Uh, at halftime, I, uh, I really challenged the team. And uh, I'm, I'm usually pretty calm and collected. Uh, I, I was a little bit fiery at halftime, just trying to get a spark from them, which, which I did get, but, uh, but it, it didn't lead to a goal. You know, credit to Air Force. I thought they worked really hard that game and uh, defended hard once they, they had a lead. Uh, but the chances were still there. We just didn't have the good fortune of scoring. Um, so it was, we went from a high high to a pretty low low of starting conference play um, with a loss when, when I knew that we were a team that, uh, you know, I, Year two, I thought we could win the Mount West. Year three, I thought we should win the Mount West. So to start Mount West with, uh, with a loss was, uh, was tough. Was tough, was disappointing, was heartbreaking, but we needed to find a way to bounce back from that.